Moving on to the first fight of the main card at UFC Ogden, we're going to break down Zubara Tuhugov versus Kevin or Kevin Aguilar from a betting perspective. Um, this is one forty-five. Um, who Zubara Tuhugov is um, Khabib's training partner. He currently trains out AKA. Um, he also does some training at Tiger Muay Thai. Or, well, used to, before he could get a visa or anything. Um, so he used to train down there. But, uh, two, two golf's main, sort of, uh, main, like, uh, skill would be wrestling. Um, he has decent stand-up, but he's just too inactive on the feet. He, um, tends to be really passive. Um, which is shown with a lot of split decisions, like against Leroy Murphy. They're 2-4-2. Which many expected him to win. He was a minus three fifteen favorite. He's one to three to win, and then against Moicano, another split decision. But that should have just been unanimous for Moicano. I had him winning, um, maybe three rounds to zero for Moicano. Um, f- against Philippe Nover, he won by split decision again. But as I say, this should have been unanimous. This one. So he's on, he's on the end of a few weird split decisions and stuff, but he does get himself into that territory because he's too passive on the feet. And when he does initiate grappling, um, as seen in the Lebron Murphy fit, he tends to get uh, somewhat tired. So he does, he, he does have a few issues with cardio. Um, but the exception could be maybe for that fit against Leroy Murphy maybe he was tired because it was like I don't know what they said 125 degrees Fahrenheit in the um in the arena at Abu Dhabi for Khabib first player and um, maybe that was the reason why he cast out more and also for that fight he was on um antibiotics because he had a staph infection uh Javier Mendez revealed uh after the fight which may be a reason why he cast because he just slowed down in uh, round three and let Leroy Murphy get it back into the fight. Um, but as well in the Moicano fight and the Nova fight, you could sort of tell he was slowing down. He started heavy breathing at the start of round three. Um, so that's, you, you, you never really want to bet on someone who tends to gas out. That's like a sort of fundamental rule. You don't really gas, or you don't really bet on people who have, um, issues with their gas tank like to who golf does but maybe he's addressed that issue we'll see but he's coming up against Kel- or Kevin Aguilar who is a cardio machine um, he has really good cardio especially in comparison to to who golf um, he lost in uh, June of 2019 against Danny Gay, which is no shame. Danny Gay just beat Mirsad Bakhtik. Danny Gay is very legit. And I actually thought that was a close fight. Um, Kevin Aguilar, really good boxing. Um, he has good uh, takedown defense, and he gets back up to his feet well. But if he does find himself on the back on his back, he doesn't really have the best. Um, he isn't really good off his back, so he isn't, which is unfortunate. But um, sort of an issue with two golf's takedowns, he just gets them and then he lets people get back to their feet, which is something Aguilar's good at. So I think his fight will mostly be contested on the feet. And if two golf does initiate the grappling, he's got to be the one tired from it. Um, Barzola tried to employ a takedown heavy game against Ke- Kevin Aguilar, but um, it didn't work out, he stuffed, like, I can't remember, like, 16 takedowns or something, I may be wrong in that one, but he did stuff a lot of takedowns, I think I, I, think I remember the stat, um, being 16, but he does have a takedown defense rec- um, record of around, um, what is it, let's see, takedown defense, 86%, so that's really high. For someone who's not a wrestler. So he has sort of added that in this game. Sort of. Um, to keep the fight standing. So he can employ his, his own game plan. 
Um, but I can just see maybe Tuhu Goff starting off the fight well. Maybe mixing up, um, striking and takedowns. Maybe taking Aguilar to the ground. Um, maybe stealing the first round. But as what normally happens with Tuhu Goff, he just slows down around two and three. So I think that's where Aguilar will come back into the fight. And I think um, I've, I've got Aguilar in this fight. I think he's going to win a decision. Uh, so if we just check the odds here. Um, currently, let's see, what's this? Currently, they're both 10 to 11. You can get Aguilar at 19 to 20 on 88 Sport. Um, so it is a very close fight. Not just, I'm not very, very confident coming out and saying Aguilar's going to win, but all roads would lead to believe that he does win. Um, but the, I think the bookies have kept this one well, so they do. Um, with both of them at pick and mods. So, I think uh, that is a good price. And just as I was saying that, it has went up to 24.25 on Marathon bet. Um, but I think there's, there's a good prop for this bet. Or for this fight, I mean. I think Aguilar by decision isn't bad at 15 to 8. I think that's really good value because Tuhugov has a outstanding chin. He took a head kick off um, Leroy Murphy. Or no, sorry, it wasn't him. He took a head kick off Felipe Nover and then just he just shafted the takedown straight after it, after it and he just recovered within seconds. It didn't really rack him at all. And if you look at some of his... Oh, like some of his um if you search him up on YouTube you'll find him like in street fights and stuff like this in Russia. Um he's he just has an iron chin, I think he's just just the way he's the way he's forged himself or whatever. Um he's like a Diaz, he just takes shots and shots. He does have one um head kick KO not get lost, but I haven't I couldn't find that fight. Um so I'm not sure how it went down, but head kicks are more sort of they're more significant than punches are, so I'm not really surprised. Anyone could get knocked out with a head kick like. Um But as I say, I think uh Kevin Aguilar's just gonna use his superior boxing and uh take down fundamentals, take down defence fundamentals to bring home a decision. Um another interesting prop for prop for this fight is um, for the fight to go the distance at 1-2 to two, I think that's good that may be like a parlay accumulator um, type of bet so you can add in other um, other picks in that one let me just check like whoever's a good um, bet this week yeah. I think uh, Jan's a good bet where is she right there so you're gonna get one to one, one point one for um, Kevin Aguilar versus Spar to go to go off, to go the distance, and uh, Jan to beat Karolina Kovalkovic, which is quite good, of something I'm considering, because Aguilar is sort of a decision merchant. Um, as seen with his last four fights, um, all in the UFC and uh against Joey Gomez on the Contender Series. So he doesn't really necessarily have the biggest knockout power. He more, he was more inclined to get knockouts on the regional scene. And he hasn't really emulated that in the UFC. But, um, yeah, so I think that is a safe bet. Um, let me just compare the stats between the two. It says Aguilar has um, a 5-inch reach advantage over uh, to who golf which is interesting yeah he does so that's obviously uh, immediate um, natural advantage natural advantage in terms of body composition so Aguilar which most of his fate will probably be on the feet will have an immediate natural advantage with a reach advantage um, and Aguilar also showed against Joey Gomez who's a 155er that he, he can't take shots from lightweights I just walk through them um, so both of them have very good chins um, Aguilar has better strikes on the per minute ratio 
uh, and also he is more accurate with his punches but um, he absorbs more punches it says here he absorbs more strikes per minute almost or it is double it says but I'm not sure I've read into that too much because uh, to golf tends to be passive and tends to be very cautious in fits compared to Aguilar who's sort of willing to take it to opponents which you always want out of a fighter you want them to fight for your money um, I saw two golfs and not to be took down yet in the UFC and obviously Aguilar isn't going to come out and take him down you never know like but I don't think you will um, yeah so that is uh, Kevin Aguilar versus Barry Tukagov I seen Darry of a program better said that he's he's potentially going to bat Tukagov in this fight but I know what he's saying there that's just I think that's a bit nuts I think you're better off just going into roulette and just doing putting all your money on red because that is just dodgy um, no but I'm only joking never do that uh, never put your money on roulette but um, yes, yeah, so Kevin Aguilar by decision, that's my pick for Aguilar to go off the first fight of the main card on Saturday, UFC Auckland. So I'll see you on the next fight.